If you reside in the western part of the world, you'd be forgiven if you've never heard of Duji. Duji is a rising Chinese smartphone maker that doesn't have anything to do with doggies. So, what are the good people at Duji up to? Well, they are gearing up to release a hero handset that looks mighty impressive on paper. Expected in August, the Duji F3 will be the company's flagship phone this year. It will be available in a regular version powered by a Mediatek SoC, as well as a limited edition based on the eponymous Snapdragon 810 chip. Let's go through the rest of their ambitious spec sheets. The regular Duji F3 is your typical Chinese darling. It's outfitted with a 5-inch 1080p resolution screen, covered in 2.5D curved glass and framed by 1mm thick side bezels. The Mediatek chip roaring inside is the MT6753, where processing is handled by a 64-bit octa-core CPU clocked to 1.5 GHz, and the graphics department is manned by the ARM Mali T760 GPU. On the phone's back, there's a 1 3MP camera, while an 8MP front side unit handles the selfies. Boasting two SIM slots, LTE connectivity, ocean blue, and pearl white color schemes, the Duji F3 will be also inclusive of a metal frame. With so much potential in the regular version, you'd be right to wonder what's left to improve in the limited edition. Ho ho! On top of all the goodness we listed, the limited F3 is privileged to a Quad HD resolution LG display, a Snapdragon 810 chipset, 4GB of RAM, a 21MP Sony camera, and a 3100mAh battery. That metal frame we spoke off will be enriched with an optional wooden back panel. Given that sourcing these high-end components in volume can be quite hard for smaller manufacturers, we expect the Duji F3S limited edition to be quite, well, limited in availability. And priced at the equivalent of $350 in China, we can see this one being a real flash sale hit that's being sold out in seconds. Moreover, Duji seems to be laying down the challenge to OnePlus, whose upcoming OnePlus 2 will probably present a similar price to high-end hardware ratio. However, the limited edition could release as late as October, so OnePlus can probably attain a bit of headway. While you're sharing your thoughts in the comments, we'll be keeping an eye on Duji's endeavors and the Chinese phenomenon of affordable flagships in general.